guys welcome back to my channel so i haven't been in tk maxx in probably highly likely a decade because i've never had a need to go into tk maxx before in lincoln it's ages away and yeah but i went into the one in cambridge it's like a tk maxx slash home sense so it's kind of like a mixture basically and i went in there to browse to see what was in there i was like curious because i've not been in there and i was like well i was going to the ad store anyway to get wine so i might as well just go in there see what it's like and whatnot because basically short story with the wine found a wine that i actually like that isn't like a really really fruity one so like i wanted like I'm going to say proper wine, so not like an Echo Falls fruit fusions one. Like, I wanted like a proper wine kind of thing. Not that Echo Falls isn't proper wine, but you kind of get what I mean. Like, I wanted one that was nice on my palette and like didn't feel too dry. Yeah, basically. Anyway, short story, I spent too much in TK Maxx. Let's just say the total between three shops is about 200 pounds which is practically my budget for the month but to be fair i did buy christmas presents between all three shops and just a little extra something for my sister for both christmas time and her birthday so it's kind of justified it's kind of not but you know what i mean and yeah I'm only going to be showing you TK Maxx. Let's just say in that £200, I didn't actually buy a meal. I bought the odd item that makes a meal. So, for example, in Tesco, I bought, you know, the um, Dormio packet of, like, carbonara sauce. I bought two of those. And, like, the little pots of, like, tomato and herb sauce. I did buy those. Like, I bought two of those. Because it's just so much easier. I know it's more expensive than making it, but... I always find I lose the taste if like I was to batch cook and then free some it loses the taste when you then re I always make rice or pasta fresh if it's a separate a thing eh. if it's a natural rice dish I will I won't ever freeze rice to be fair actually no. anyway let's go on to the TK Maxx stuff because I have rambled on like I usually do I'm gonna start with the big thing which actually was only twelve ninety nine, which isn't bad, and it is a rug. It's like an accent rug. Honestly, I was looking at all the rugs in the shop or like in the little area. The amount of fluff that I got on the jumper I was wearing was unbelievable. I wiped off all the fluff before I left the store because you know I'm not bringing that back with me. But anyway, I can't really see, but it's a I'm going to say it's a little bit of like a vintage kind of pattern-ish. That's kind of what it, the feeling I get from it. And it's just kind of black with like the creamy undertone. And there is, you can't really see it, but there is like a young beigey slash light brown kind of colour that's in the white. And I just think it looks really nice. And yeah, oh, found the actual label label. And it is a vintage chic. I just kind of like this pattern. It's an accent rug. So I'm thinking... Originally part of me was thinking, oh, just stick it in the middle of the floor. I know it's small, but yeah. However, I'm now thinking, actually, I might just put it down the side of my bed because I don't want to put it by the door because I feel like that's a wasted moment. Part of me would buy a um, doormat for inside the door. Like, I know that's just extra, but, you know. However, I can't really do that as such because I need to make sure the door actually opens because it's a fire door. Well, anyway. And yeah it's 70 percent cotton 30 percent jute or jute rug pad is recommended yeah we don't have one of those sorry basically part of the reason why i wanted a rug is because i keep watching all these rug um cleaning videos like surely at least one of you have seen those rug cleaning videos if not i highly recommend you to check them out honestly the difference that that clean can make that rug can be so brown you can't even tell the pattern and then it can end up being the lightest rug ever like i'm not joking it is beautiful and yeah sorry i'm kind of making sure i drink something because let's just say i ate something about nine o'clock just before i left to go to the gym and it's now oh it's now half four so i've wasted time 
I got back just before four, and let's just say I haven't actually eaten anything since when I had a wrap. Now, I've been awake since, I want to say, like, five o'clock last night. Currently surviving off of a rock star energy drink that I had this morning just before I went to the gym. Because I knew I needed to go, but I was too tired and I had an energy drink, so I went. So I drank the energy drink, allowed it to kick in, then went. I didn't do like a proper, proper workout in the sense that I didn't, yeah. Partly because my pure gym is um, going through some renovations at the moment. So, and it's just had a general relay. Like the layout has changed with some stuff. And also they've added new machines, which is brilliant. Like some work that I would consider like classics that should have been there from the start. Cause I know they definitely weren't. Like they should have been there from the start and now they're there and it's like nice. Like for example, the hip extension and the hip abductor or you know what I mean. They weren't there before. No, they are. And part of me is really happy. Like, I mainly worked, I want to say on like shoulders and like, yeah, basically shoulders and some lapped work. But then I just decided to throw in the hip abductors and the hip extenders. I did both of them basically. You know what I mean. And yeah. And then I went out to, well, first I headed to Asda. Well, towards where Asda is, but TK Maxx is in the exact same place as Asda. And I spent. 12.99 on it and for anyone curious as to the measurements it is 27 inches by 45 inches otherwise known as 68.58 centimeters times by 114.3 centimeters so you kind of get a general gist and it's got the nice little tassels on and yeah i just really liked it and i wanted a rug and i'm happy I need to clean up that area slightly, just of like little tiny bits that are on the floor, just so that I can actually put the rug down. Now let's get onto the general junk. So, this bit's not junk, it's a Christmas present from my mum. I kind of struggle with presents because it's kind of like she doesn't really need anything and I know that sounds really bad, but at least in the sense of like something she would use, if that makes sense so like i can't buy her perfume because she's never gonna use it can't buy her jewelry because she's never gonna wear it so it's kind of like well um what do i do so let's just say she currently has a nivea rainbow soft skin set so there is a shower gel an antiperspirant cream wash and hand moisturizer hand moisturizer she uses that one anyway it's the easiest thing to buy her that i know she's gonna use i know she's gonna use the hand gel She's going to end up using the antiperspirant. She can always do a shower gel. Cream wash, will she maybe use it? Mm, potentially. She'll use most of it at least. And it was 3 99 with the rated retail price of £12. So yeah, I saved, what, £8 and a pence. It was my first find. I was very happy with it. Now I'd like to point out part of my £200 in total. I did buy some stuff for it I didn't need. So like I spent 7 50 and a crate of coke when I've already got two in a bit. Practically just two, but two in a bit. And I bought six tangos, apple tangos, because I bought a set of two hair turbans. I've got one from Primark that has like a hole in the top, but that feels more of like a towely material, whereas these are like microfiber. And so I think we'll actually, when I actually use them, will help dry my hair quicker. I bought a manicure set with case because in terms of actual placement, like my nails, they look slightly long now. I know someone's thinking, oh my God, they are short as hell. But in terms of actual nursing, these are quite long, apart from that one because it broke, but these are quite long. So I wanted an actual manicure set. I more just wanted the nail clippers, but I kind of liked the whole thing. So it was like, you know what? Um, And also I liked the fact that there was like nail scissors in here as well. Because previously I was either just biting them or using general scissors to the best of my ability. These will be nice. And it's Laura Ashley, by the way. Moving on. This is also for my mum. It is literally three different hand creams because she uses hand creams. To be fair, I probably got her this last year. 
well not this exact thing this is distributed by cognoscenti cognoscenti australia designed in australia of course it's made in china there is rose water lavender and goat's milk then a root a jade roller and gua sha yes i know i probably pronounced that wrong slash was too enthusiastic for that i thought you know what might as well have one even if it, i don't use it much or i find it doesn't make a difference for me then okay now this is gonna sound like a weird one until i explain so i have six essential oils for like aromatherapy and i paid 12.99 with a rated retail price of 27 pounds i would never have paid 27 pounds not in my life anyway i bought these so i can use them for an asmr video like i really want to do like a um cranial nerve exam i feel like i know i've done one before on my channel yes i do have an asmr channel by the way i know i've done one on that channel but it definitely wasn't to a good standard i now have a new mic and i just think it could do with a redo and previously i was using i was just i think i was just pretending to you is it cleanses like hyaluronic acid niacinamide that kind of thing i use those and was just like pretending using off camera but i wanted to have some and so yeah i have lavender orange pine peppermint eucalyptus and cedarwood so there's a very good like mixture there and i definitely think it will help overall like i definitely think it will look that video a little bit i also bought a dog toy this one is a tough ones durable seams stand up to tough play this is a christmas present for the dog of a family friend i've also bought in my other stuff i also bought the family friend a gift and her son one as well but i always buy the dog one like i always buy the dog one but the problem is is she's a labrador so literally if i buy her something fluffy it will be fluffless in like three minutes max two previous years i always made sure there was something that was always going to last so like for example there was something where it was like a fox but like the inside of its belly was like a spiky ball and so even though she ruined she didn't have i don't think she had the fox i'm not sure even though she ruined that bit she still had the spiky ball so it was kind of like her and last year even though she didn't get it till recently because i never saw her at christmas yeah basically recently when i gave her the last christmas present it was like a unicorn head with like a rope body and like just tiny i don't it's like weirdly enough it was like fins but obviously it's not probably more like the legs but it looked like ears at the same time it's weird i know i bought it because it had the rope bodies because i knew she would ruin the top so quickly she did like literally in the time i was there it was basically ruined she ruined that bit but she still she still had the rope bit however I took a risk this year. Oh my god, please don't tell me this. Oh my god, there is two squeaks. Durable seams. And to be fair, I'm feeling it. And I know dogs can rip stuff apart so quickly. But I feel like this will take some time. I don't know. I feel partly confident about this. And I paid $3.99. I don't know the original price though. I feel positive with this one. I feel like this could potentially stand the test of a labrador i also bought a little snow globe i know it's a tiny one i paid 4.99 for it rated re rated retail price was 7.99 with smaller things i don't expect a big discount there were some kids toys like for example there was like baby annabelle i can't remember the exact price it was something around 42 pounds and that it was only like 37 after discount and i know obviously with that kind of thing they're going to make more of a profit but it's kind of like well there could have been a bigger discount luckily i wasn't actually buying that kind of stuff but i looked at it because i'm here we never brought my christmas tree here which we didn't for my accommodation last year but i'm not actually going to be at my house so i'm looking after my sister 
just before Christmas but I'm looking after her at my nana's house so there's no point in me having my Christmas tree up for literally one night to then take it down again so I'm just not putting it up and there's also therefore no Christmas decorations here. I got myself a snow globe because why not and it's like a little bear and a motorbike. I don't want to, there were some nice ones there that were like 14, 17 pounds but to me it was like it's not worth it and also they were really heavy so I felt like they were going to be so e partly so easy to knock like I know lighter ones aren't are probably actually even easier but I felt like a bigger one was just probably more likely to go and therefore more likely to smash but yeah I wanted a little snow globe or at least like I wanted something Christmas decoration kind of esque and this felt like a nice little thing just to go and also it's easy to pack away i don't know what my next video is going to be not gonna lie i really wanted to film so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys